Alright, here goes nothing. Basically, just, you know, you insert the shells. I'm going to hold them with my fingers so that they don't pop out. But I want to put something on the... Yeah, I'll just do the first one first. Now, you can see there's a big problem there. This is bouncy. And when all the stuff... See, it worked pretty good. You see how it cut it... See, I cut that really super, super nice. And you can see it did a pretty good job cutting it on the hull. So I'm, I'm happy with it to a certain degree, but this is too bouncy. I mean, the BBs are bouncing like this high. They fall out and they almost bounce as high as, I mean, the shot bounces really high. And it gets all, you know, I've got it all over the table now. So I've got to make a better catch. I think that this is going to have to have like a rubber pad or something in it to make them stop, like a neoprene pad so that when they hit they just go boom, or maybe a little piece of carpet or something so that when they fall they don't go blah, 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 blah. So that's kind of annoying. But as you can see it, it works pretty cool. And I'll do, I'll do the next one. I just I gotta hold each shell because I need to make a thing to lock it in on the back. But I'm really, really close to having a five shell guillotine, and that would be really pretty fun. Now, let's see how this one came out. I don't know if this one, nope, this one didn't cut all the way. See, that's another problem. For some reason, sometimes they cut all the way, sometimes they don't. All right, now I got it. Yeah, I think it's the dovetail type situation isn't quite tight enough. See, there's still a little play. Ideally, these would be made of Delrin so that they'd slide super nice all the time. <clears throat> also think they would help to have this angled so the shot pours out because it's going to be a problem. When I pull this out, there's also shot falling out back here and then it falls out. So this needs to be angled like this a little bit so that as I'm doing it, so that's easy enough to do, I just make an angled base. But then they're really going to want to bounce out. So I gotta, I've got to come up with something. Plus, I think if I made the handle so it was above everything, then I could have a taller box. So, oh, cat is up on the chair. I'm using this as a tripod, making it wiggle. So let me do one more. Okay. And I will try again. I'll just hold the dovetail as if it were super tight. wonderful. And if it was angled, they would all fall out. I'm seeing how to prove it, but you can see it cuts it pretty good, but see how it bends a little bit? See how it bent it? I don't think that's a terrible thing, because I think that'll work out. And I've got a cat down here that's very interested in the whole situation. So it's, it's there, so let me just do the last two. I'll do them at once, so that we can see if it actually works, and then i got to get something off the stove. As usual, I'm multitasking my butt off all the time. So, down it comes. Yeah, I don't know. It's pretty much like part way there, but not. I gotta hold the shell. I gotta hold the trimmer so that it works right. Yeah. And then it's gotta be angled. So you can see there's several little things that need to be changed, but the concept is sort of working. Yeah. Sometimes it bends them, sometimes it doesn't. That wasn't too bad. And this one, they cut it partially. It left a bunch of crap hanging on the end, but you can see it's getting really close to being about right. So anyway, let's get this off of here. The shot shell guillotine for cutting five shot shells at once. Can you imagine? In five slices, you could do a whole box. All right, all right. What the heck? Okay. Yeah. That's why I can't use a chair as a tripod. So, anyway, I just thought I'd show this to you guys. And I'm going to work on this some more. And if I get this thing figured out, man, I'm going to be really happy because I like making these. So I can just make a box in like five swipes. That would be really cool.